Hey, what's up guys? Houston here. Look, if you're stressing out because you can't get a loan to pay your bills, I'm going to show you a lender that you may be able to reach out to. Now, here's the thing about it. Uh, before you even go to this lender, because this lender does uh, charge you high interest rates on the loan, I would tell you to first go to your HR. See, can you file an exempt? for three to four months, all right? And the only way they'll deny you from filing an exempt, as you can see here, is that uh, if you owe the IRS money or you're not expecting a tax return, those are the only two ways you'll get it uh, denied from filing exempt, okay? But what that'll do, you'll stop paying federal tax so you bring home a bigger paycheck, all right? So that's number one. Number two is that go over to unclaimed dot org okay when you go to unclaim.org you're going to go to find and claim and as you can see this is a free government database service and what you do you pick your state that you're in or the last state you stayed in and you put your name and your address in here and what did it do it'll tell you if you have any money that the state is holding on to all right so that's the second thing i want you to do then the third thing, if you worked a job in the past and you didn't receive your last paycheck or you done moved to another state and you didn't receive your last paycheck or something like that, you can go here. This is webapps.dol.gov, Department of Labor, okay? And so what this website does, you put your last employer in employer in in the state and what it'll do it'll bring up the employer then you put your name and stuff and it'll tell you if that employer have uh, wages that uh, that's owed to you and you can put in a claim on it all right so i would suggest you do those before hopping over here to this high interest rate loan now this lender is max lend okay and as you can see they loan up to three thousand seven hundred and fifty dollars okay they do same day lending as well right so the good part about it is because it's a tribal lender they have more flexibility than a credit union or a bank uh that's the reason like their interest rates are much higher because they're not regulated but at the same time like they're not going to be looking directly at your personal credit to consider you. They're going to look at the third party credit bureaus and I want to show those to you. So one of the third party credit bureaus they'll look at is like Teletrack, which is owned by Equifax. Then you have uh, Data X, which is also owned by Equifax. And with these here type of databases, what it is, is that whenever you like uh, apply for a loan or something online, they keep that data and they sell it to lenders like Max Lind, okay? So that's the difference with these. Now, also with a uh, Lexus Nexus may be sharing your data also. And by the way, you can get a copy of all all of your credit reports. These are all the financial credit bureaus and you can get a copy of your reports and stuff that way you can take a look. Now, there's another one, uh Clarity, okay? Clarity is owned by Experian. But as you can see here, you can get your report, you can look at your credit score, you can do a fraud alert. The credit score they're talking about is your financial credit score. All right. A lot of people are not aware they got a financial credit score, just like their regular credit score. All right. You can do a security freeze and you can also opt out. When you opt out, that means that they cannot sell your information anymore. All right. So that's the reason why you may want to take into consideration of doing that. Then you have one more, and that's Factor Trust. Now, Factor Trust is owned by TransUnion, but you can actually get your report. If you have anything negative on your report, you can actually dispute it. Now, here's the thing I always tell people with these type of uh, credit bureaus and stuff like that, because they're using AI, you may have an old address that they're picking up, right? Or you may have been added on as an authorized user. And by you being added on as an authorized user, what ends up happening is that that authorized user address replaces your address. So when you put in your application for these type of loans, you may get denied. So you have to reach out to these credit bureaus and let them know, hey, this is my actual uh, address here, right? And so by them updating that, 
then it makes it much easier for you to get approved. Most people think it's about your uh, credit, right? But it's not about the credit, okay? A lot of times it's just you have outdated information that's not matching up that's on the application, all right? So that's the thing about it. You have to keep that in mind. Now, there's one other thing that I would definitely uh, suggest that you guys do. If you have a Home Depot card or you may have a family member with a Home Depot card, what you can possibly do, you can have them so you won't have to be taking out these high interest rate loans. You can possibly have them to go up to Home Depot or you go up to Home Depot, buy a few toiletries and then grab a couple Visa gift cards. And then you can cash those out like on uh, Zelle or through Cash App or something like that. But that way, you don't have to go back and try to uh, borrow from these high interest rate loans, all right? But if you need uh, these high interest rate loans, hey, you got to do what you got to do. Now, I do want to show you in terms of uh, some of the states that they actually uh, make loans to, all right? So you can see if you're in one of these states, this is where they would actually uh, issue out a loan to, okay? So if you're in one of these here states, uh, I always try to be transparent and tell people that if you're not in one of these states, there's no need in trying to apply for this type of loan because it won't be helpful. One of the things about it that I did notice is that if you uh, have taken out a loan with them in the past, then what happens is you're able to access more money. OK, so if you've taken out a loan with them in the past. And what they do, they're more willing to uh, allow you to access more money. But, hey, the thing about it, always tell people, um, again, before you go after these high interest rate loans, um, make sure that you try those other things first. You know, I understand emergencies happen and you need money right then and there. But, hey, at least you know your options, right? Now, you also can, don't forget, uh, with some of your credit unions and banks, uh, if you've been a member with them for at least uh, 90 days, uh, they have these no hard pull uh, type of loans as well. They may not be as much as this here uh, max lien loan for uh, $3,750. However, they do offer them. You know, so some of these tribal lenders, like I said, the interest rate may not be as um, as comfortable. Uh, with your financial situation, but you got to do what you got to do. If uh, Max Lynn can't help you get a loan, then you may want to look at um, Indy Land, okay? And I put a link for them down below as well. But as you can see, Indy Land, their loans go from 200 up to 5000 as well. Now, Indy Land is a platform, but one of the things I want to show you, you don't have to worry about the hard pull on the credit. So they're not focused on the credit score. They're focused on the availability to pay it back. So the minimum income, I would definitely tell you guys, is that you should have at least $1,000 a monthly income after taxes, okay? That will help you be able to secure a loan much easier, all right? So I hope this helps you, and I'll see you in the next video.